Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Edward Almos and his beef with the Mexican Mafia. Edward James Almos was born February 24th, 1947. Edward grew up in East LA and would never join a gang or be a part of the streets. Even though it was around him, he instead walked a straight and narrow and he went to college and took acting classes, which later became his career. Edward has been an actor since the 1970s getting his first role in 1974. Over the years, Edward gained a name and gained plenty of roles. In the 1980s, he gained a lot of recognition getting the Emmy Award and an Academy Award nomination for the movie Stand and Deliver. But by the early 1990s, it was two controversial scripts going around in Hollywood. One of the movies was called Blood In, Blood Out. The movie follows a man who ends up joining the gang, which his cousins are in. He ends up putting in some work and goes to prison for murder. In the prison, he sees that the prison is divided in three different groups, the Black Guerrilla family, the Aryan Brotherhood, and the Mexican Mafia. Then the movie follows his life from then on and his two cousins' transformations to a drug addict and the other one being a cop. The next movie will be American Me, one of the most controversial movies ever made, which was the portrayal of the Mexican Mafia and its elite members. The movie was directed and produced by Edward Almos, and this didn't go well. Almost played Santana, based off Cheyenne, who was one of the leaders of the actual Mexican Mafia. Cheyenne died in 1972 after being stabbed to death by members of the Mexican Mafia's rival, Nuestra Familia. Cheyenne was stabbed almost 100 times and thrown over a third floor prison balcony by a group of Nuestra Familia's assassins. A character in the movie named JD was based on Joe Peg Leg Morgan, who was a member of the Mexican Mafia and who was highly respected and feared. He got the name Peg Leg for being shot and having a bad leg. He became a member of the Mexican Mafia, and while doing time in prison in 1993, he later died to cancer. A Mexican Mafia member named Mundo was portrayed by his real name, Mundo, in the movie. He was portrayed as killing Cheyenne's character Santana, which Mundo said never happened and was completely false. The Mexican Mafia would take extreme offense to this movie, with two exact scenes bothering him. Cheyenne's character Santana's mom was violated in the movie by sailors, which was said to never happen and also a scene where Santana was in Juvenile Hall and he was violated by another inmate, which is said to also be completely false, along with Cheyenne being thrown over the balcony by the Mexican Mafia, his own gang. Both of these films, Blood In and Blood Out, and American Me wanted Danny Trejo involved with his credibility and him being an ex-gang member and having connections to certain people. While reading the script, Danny knew this would be a problem of how they did Cheyenne. Danny would say it would be no possible way Cheyenne would have had so much rank if he was actually violated. Danny Trejo knew Peg Leg would be against this movie, and if he was, this was going to be a severe problem. Danny never joined the Mexican Mafia, even though he did prison stints, but he got strong connections with his uncle who was a member. Danny didn't like how Edward almost was carrying himself outside of being an actor. He was portraying a role in normal life, dressing and acting like a cholo. Danny and Peg Leg would have a combo on the phone, which Peg Leg would ask him about both movies and Danny told him he wouldn't do American Me out of respect for the Mexican Mafia. But he said he would do Blood In and Blood Out because it never tried to be a real depiction of the Mexican Mafia, like American Me. Danny realized by talking to Peg Leg that I were almost lied about getting permission to make the movie. American Me was released in March of 1992 and was a box office fail. Not because it sucked, but the drama that came behind it. The budget was $16 million to make and only profited $13 million. It was received well by critics, but not by the streets. Blood In and Blood Out was released in 1993 and did terrible in the box office, with a budget of $35 million, but profited at only $4 million. But this wasn't the end of the American Me saga. Over 10 people were killed just off their involvement in the movie. The first killing happened just 12 days after the movie was released, when a film consultant named Charlie, a member of the Mexican Mafia, was killed in the Ramona Gardens. Another person named Anna was also killed. She was known as the Gang Lady. She was shot and killed eight months after the film was complete in front of her son and her boyfriend, Rocky. Rocky was later killed a year later. Years later after the movie, several Mexican Mafia members were indicted on federal racketeering charges. It was up to 16-man charge with trying to extort Edward Almos. FBI informant and ex-Mexican Mafia member Ernest Castro was working with the FBI for a two-year period where he would wear wires trying to get info or see who was trying to get Edward Almos and other things involving the Mexican Mafia. This got over 12 members convicted and sent to prison. Eric and Me would go down as one of the most classic movies, but devastating with all the drama it caused and lost lives that happened for it being made. It wasn't a hit when it first was made, 
but later became some people's favorite movie. Edward Almost would continue to have a big acting career and still is acting to this day. Not getting permission and just doing things the way he did forever changed lives in many negative ways. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.